I am Ethan, this is Joel and Jeff. And uh, together, I guess this makes up the Bodie Van team. Vans, I mean, mainly because they can go anywhere. And, you know, all of these have solar power, so, you know, you can live and work or study from the road from uh, wherever you're at. So that's the original reason why I wanted to do a van, um, just for the practical reasons. Yeah, so the vans we build are, I'd say, for a variety of people, for a variety of reasons. We, we haven't built one van that has been the same. Um, each client that has come to us has wanted something for the most part, completely different, depending on what their needs are. So we have people coming to us who want to take vans to music festivals. We have people who want to live in them full time. We have people that want to live in them part time. So it really just ranges. It just depends. Um, it depends on the person. What's cool about these vans is you can go into super remote areas um, where there's not a lot of people around. And I, the experience of being you know, in places for weeks at a time where there's, you know, you're not near a city and stuff is, is a cool and a unique one. And uh, sometimes, I, like, it's just a good time for self-reflection. That's what it had been for me. So if someone's wanting to live in the van full time, the first thing we look at and address is going to be the capacity of the system, how much water it can store, how much electricity the batteries can store, um, how long it can last off grid. That's going to kind of be the primary focus in terms of a full-time living van. Also, depending on what people are doing with the van, we might change the material types up. So if someone's going to be living it more full-time, um, we'll probably steer them more towards a very durable finish on all the products we put in, durable flooring, cabinets, you know, whatever, uh, whatever core product we're using is going to definitely be more on the durability side versus someone who's living in it more part-time may have a little bit more freedom in terms of the types of materials that they, they pick out. I was a server here in Nashville and I wanted to go to school up in San Francisco uh, to be a therapist. So um, obviously San Francisco is super expensive uh, to live in. So my plan was to travel in a van, do a lot of the school online and then be up in San Francisco when I needed to, to continue my studies. Um, so while I was a server, I was building out a van just in a garage at the house that I was out and um, ended up just posting it for sale. And I was really surprised at the amount of interest I got for it. Um, after building one, I, I knew all the ways that I would do it differently and I kind of wanted to do it differently and do a better job. And essentially, this, it, I just kept doing that. And it's somewhere along the line, it transitioned from a hobby to something I was doing professionally. Um, I would say they really became, like the quality of vans became what I always wanted them to be kind of once I brought these guys on. I make sure everything's working. So the HVAC, plumbing, and electrical. And then they make everything uh, beautiful. This is like a big puzzle that you just get to put all these creative ideas into and figure out how to make the um, best use of your space. Because it's not like a typical building, it has curved walls, it has strange constraints, it really, um, it's a good creative challenge and we all enjoy that. Yeah, I think one of the things that's really attractive about doing interiors of vans is that you can do things that you wouldn't typically do in a normal kitchen. Just because of the cost of materials and stuff in here, it's like you might as well use really fun maybe even expensive materials because the amount that you're going to need isn't going to be like crazy or it's not going to make it that much more expensive. So I think design wise, there's a lot of opportunity to do cool things that you otherwise wouldn't do uh, in a house. So, yeah.